In this video, you're going to learn how to set your OneDrive permissions so that you can embed documents directly into Canvas. The first thing you're going to want to do is go out to the web, uh, OneDrive, and then once you're logged into your OneDrive, on the right hand upper corner, you'll notice that you have a settings icon. Click on that settings icon, and then click on OneDrive settings. Mine always gives me this error, but not everyone does. If you see this error, please just reload your page. It always works the second time. From here, you're going to click on more settings. And then what we need is that not actually on this page. So we're going to click return to the old site settings page. Once that opens, we are looking for HTML field security, and that's under the Site Collection Administration right here. It controls the security settings for HTML fields under this site collection. Once that opens, you'll notice that you need to specify whether contributors can, contributors can insert external iframes in HTML fields and embed web parts on pages in this site. Um, in order to allow contributors to insert iframes, we need to allow them from certain domains. So we iframes are what we use to embed. So to do this, we are going to add usd383.instructure.com. That's usd383.instruc ture.com. Once you've typed that in and checked the address, you're going to click Add. From there, on the right-hand side, you're going to click OK. And then it should take you back to that site settings page. At this point, you have done what you need to do in settings to be able to embed. The next step I want to talk with you about is how to embed a Microsoft Office form. The first thing that you need to do is create a Microsoft Office form, and that is best done on the site forms.office.com. You'll create a new form, or perhaps you have one that you've already created, and we'll be doing this with our, with our remote students. Um, through our advisories, so everybody will who has that will have this experience. Um, a form will have already been created for you, so you'll just be embedding it. But from here, um, we're going to click in here um, just to create a, a quick form. This is going to be our test form, and we're going to add a couple of responses or a couple of questions. So we're going to add what is your name, and uh, let's see. Uh, maybe an email address and cell phone and best way to contact. So I'll add those those questions in. Now you won't have this list, that's just because I've created forms with those questions before. From here, um, my form is ready to go. Of course, you can do things to fancy the form up, but we're not going to do that for this purpose. Now I can start to share my form. To do that, I'm going to go up in my upper right hand corner and I'm going to click share. And then I have to choose anyone with the link can respond. And this is really important because we're embedding it. Anybody, whether they've signed into office.com or not through our organization accounts, need to be able to access this form. So we're going to say anyone with the link can respond. And then we're going to click this button here. This is our embed button. And you'll notice it's got the um, less than slash and then greater than six um, symbols. So you're going to click that. And you'll notice that this changes here. If you put your cursor in there, in this box, and then click copy, then you've copied the link. To embed it, you'll open up Canvas LMS create a new page. Um, I've already done this once or twice um, practicing it, so that's why it's number two. Um, oh, let me back up. So you're going to give it a name. 
And then you are going to look for this little um, play button that says insert edit media. This is in the old rich content editor. If you're using the new one, it would be over on the right hand, um, lower right hand side of this menu. And then you're gonna click the embed button and you're gonna paste your embed code here. So this is what you copied. And you'll notice that it starts with iframe and ends with iframe. And all the stuff in between tells it where to find the information. Here you can change the width of this document. So if this form is larger than 640 pixels wide and bigger than 480 pixels, you can change that to a different size to accommodate your screen size. And then click OK. And now, after I click Save and Publish, my students or whoever I would like to will be able to fill out this form. And I will get the responses directly in my Microsoft Forms. To demonstrate that really quickly, I'm just going to fill out some information. Um, it's going to expect something in every box, so I'm just going to um, just going to answer a little bit because I set these questions up as mandatory. And now I'm going to click Save. And just to show you how that works, I'm going to click back over here on my Microsoft Forms, and now you see I have one response, and I can see my response. And that is how you embed a Microsoft Form. Remember, first you have to go to OneDrive and set that up. You only have to do that one time and it should work from here on out. In the next video I create, I'll show you how to embed a Word document and a PowerPoint.